Hi. I accepted defeat. This is the only way she will sleep right now. So I'm on the couch and to some of you, this may look super delightful and cozy and comfortable, but I assure you it's not. And I'm actually stressing out because we need to put some wood on the fire and I don't know how that's gonna happen right now. So we are 15, 16 days. I'm gonna grab this because looking over there. 15, 16 days postpartum. Maybe 17. To what? I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Hold on, Riv. You want to watch something else? So this is what we're doing today. Um, I tried to do. Let's see. I tried to do yoga homework because uh, I have a class coming up and a lot of things to do. Um, but I realized really quickly that that was going to be impossible because, um, I can't focus. I was like watching videos and they, like no information was going into my head. So I stopped that, switched gears and thought, oh, you know what? I really got to do some laundry. I'm going to do some laundry. Managed to get a load in. Sorry. He's into this like YouTube truck show, which is kind of saving my life. Um, managed to get a load of laundry in, so that was good, um, but then realized, like, oh, I'm not gonna, like, fold these towels. I should probably be, um, I don't even remember what the next thing, I think Andy started crying, so, anyway, the day has been full of non-stop feeding, whether it be pumping and feeding her the bottle, because my, my milk supply is so intense and full that it's gagging her. Uh, I'm bouncing her. Um, she's just been really needy this morning, which is fine with me. I'd rather her be like needy in the day than at night so we can sleep. But anyway, losing train of thought here. So I'm just thinking about how this time period is so impossible to do anything that requires focus. Um, what else did I try to do? I don't know. I just kept finding myself in this weird, like, phenomena to where I would finally get her down and she would be sleeping. And then my mind just starts, like, looping on things I need to be doing. So I'd, like, run to the to the uh, dishes and start doing the dishes. And, like, a minute in, I'm like, wait, what am I doing? I'm not, I shouldn't be doing the dishes. I need to eat. So then, like, trying to make myself food. And then in between all the stuff, like, she would wake up. So I'd, like, go back to her and start the process all over again of like okay do you need to feed oh wait you need a diaper change so it was just this like 15 minute intervals of like changing gears and trying to multitask and then realizing like oh my gosh I really need to pee <laughs> so um and then my mind would jump to wow how do you do self-care when you have a newborn and then uh, taking care of a toddler and also that fire really I really need to stop and put a lock on that fire so I'm gonna wrap this up but um so this soul chat is for the mamas because it's the only people that will probably relate to this um uh, weird whirlwind that I am currently in um laying on the couch feeling guilty because I'm laying on the couch but really really this is like this is productive this is today this is what the boss ordered this is the duty <sighs> And then trying to stop my mind from thinking of things I could be doing from by laying on the couch. But what I really need to be doing is just bonding with this new soul, this new human, this wonderful, wonderful gift that I've received. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about 2021 and my word. And um, <laughs> just realizing that this eye has got, I still have makeup on. I haven't washed and brushed my teeth today. Or face, or teeth. Um, so I've been thinking about my word for 2021 and I have a lot of words that keep coming to mind. Um, and sorry, I'm now I'm getting distracted by my chapped lips. See, this is what's happening. It's like so much distraction. So one of my words was actually focus. And then I realized like, ah, that doesn't feel like it's going to like pull me up, you know, like I wanted like an inspiring word that's going to like guide me, you know, be my overarching intention for the year. And I thought of, um... I thought of my word today, um, I'm not gonna share it yet because it's still like sinking in, I think, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sit with it for a little bit longer, but I'm curious if, um, 
you have a word for 2021 and um, just how you're feeling about your life and being intentional and yeah. This music is weird. Okay, I really gotta get him put a log on the fire. So the bottom line is, um, the bottom line is, your baby is the boss. <laughs> and sometimes um, being still is uh, the best thing you could do. Better than dishes and laundry and yoga homework. And yeah, being still and bonding. Okay. I love you, mamas, and everyone listening. Um, I hope you're listening and you're not a mom because everybody needs to know this, what we go through. <laughs> okay, that's all.